Someone on the street handed me money for a change. I walked downtown and back Monday evening, burning off my dinner and some unproductive nervous energy. I also wanted to check in on this building, our own Notre Dame, Our Lady St. Paul's, as the news and social media were filled with the reports of that tragic fire in Paris. Heading home, and as I neared the Court Street Bridge over Gilkey Creek, a man about my age walking toward me stopped on the bridge and pulled some bills out from his pocket. When I met him, he said, I want to bless you tonight, as he handed me a $5 bill. When I asked him why, he said that 20 years ago, I gave him $5 when he was hungry. I said that he must have been mistaken as I've only lived here four years. Well, he said, then another pastor gave me that money, and it's been bugging me that I haven't paid it back. Every time I see you walking, I think about that. So here you go. The Lord gave it to me. Now I'm giving it back. I asked him his name, and he said, it's Clay. Clay, I said, I'll see that this gets put to the Lord's use. I pocketed the five, said, God bless you, and continued my walk home. It took Clay 20 years to hand over what was given to him in the Lord's name. St. Paul wrote to the church in Corinth and said, I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took a loaf of bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. This letter from Paul was written some 20 years after the Last Supper. Paul, you'll remember, wasn't there. He was named Saul then, And not long after the post-Pentecost Jesus movement, the way had started, Saul, the Pharisee, was the most zealous persecutor of people on the way of Jesus. After Saul met the risen Lord in a vision and took the name Paul, He received from the Lord, by way of those who were at the Last Supper, what Jesus had handed on to them, what we now call the Eucharist, Holy Communion, the sacrament of the body and blood of Jesus. And Paul, in due time, handed this gift over to the followers of Jesus in the city of Corinth, not far from Athens, in what we know as modern Greece. We hear these words recorded in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and in this letter from Paul. Every time we gather around this table, These words, sometimes called the words of institution, are in each of our Eucharistic prayers. 
These words, along with the sacrament itself, bread and wine become Jesus' body and blood, are handed on to us. We've received them from the saints who have gone before us and before us and before us all the way back to that Passover table in an upper room somewhere in Jerusalem where Jesus gathered with a few of his friends and followers for one final meal. It took St. Paul about 20 years to pay this gift forward to the Corinthian church hungry for Jesus. That's about how long it took clay to pay forward the gift from some forgotten colleague of mine that fed him. How long will it take you to pay forward this communion gift? The body and blood of Jesus given to you when you were hungry.